Recording, evaluating, mapping. Plateaus, mountain ranges with peaks 20,000 feet above sea level. The trimetric on lenses, clicking overlapping exposures every three seconds, photograph from horizon to horizon. Coal, a mountain of coal. Bird later declares Antarctic mines, if once tapped, could supply the world's coal needs for centuries. Our Western group, flying hundreds of air hours, mapped the 4,000-mile Sunset Coast, made the amazing discovery of warm land in Antarctica. The universal white is turned to chocolate brown, dotted with blue. A cameraman goes into action. 300 square miles of land without snow. Land that might be in New Mexico or Arizona. Pictures alone will prove Bunger has discovered a warm oasis in the shadow of the pole. The astounding, undreamed of fact is that they are over a chain of warm water lakes whose shores, except for small patches, are free of ice and snow. Commander Bunger circles the largest lake in sight, five miles long. He comes in to make a landing. Water temperatures must be recorded. Samples taken. He finds the water fresh, the temperature 38 degrees Fahrenheit. On the shores are vast deposits of coal and of minerals of the utmost importance to civilization. This is incredible. They found decades ago a warm place on Antarctica.